Hey, what's up traders? Uh, welcome to this uh, wonderful video. This is a new series I decided to start based on um, the review I got from my Telegram channel. Okay, the link to the Telegram channel is in the description below. Um, I, I, put, I put up a poll, right? Um, seeking the new series was, because I asked first um, what kind of videos would they like, would everybody like to see. So the votes was, um, um, the majority of the votes was at beginner level videos, right? So in the beginner level videos, I, I say casted another poll and the uh, majority won, that one was the general, uh, SMC, SMC method, right? So I tried to start up a series about the general SMC trading method, right? In case you don't know what SMC is, SMC is Smart Money Concepts, right? So I'm going to be teaching about the general SMC trading method, okay? Everything you need to know about it, how many strategies are inside it, okay? Now, when you talk about smart money concepts, it is not a strategy. As you can see, it's a concept, smart money uh, concepts. It's not a strategy. So inside this concept is a way. We mean concepts is a way trading is being looked at in general. That is different from the original form. We have some other kinds of uh, trading method. We have um some general concepts which i'm going to be listing here we have elliot wave we have the elliot wave we have automated trading that's the use of eas expert advisors right Automated trading use of expert advisors known as robots okay um we have retail price action just right price action price action trading we have um Smart money trading SMC. Now, SMC is a concept just like any of this. I think there's other one I wanted to list. Okay, these are indicators. Let me just write indicators. These indicators, okay. Which other, which other one again I'm going to, uh, which other one I'm going to add again. I think for now, these are the ones that came to my memory. Okay, so. Elliot waves, automated trading, and um, automated trading, SMC, price action indicators, all of them are different concepts, okay? In trading, there are some others that I cannot remember right now. I know about people that make use of fundamentals in their trading. Uh, make use of fundamentals in their trading. Let me just use fundamentals. I mean, they don't use technical, just fundamentals only. Yeah, there are people like that. Okay, so um, this type of trading, this type of, um, each of these concepts have different branches. In automated trading, there are different branches, okay? There are different kind of robots, different kind of, you know, it is that that helps to trade in a certain way. Some it is specialized on trading. Every it has its logic. It operates in you know, robots are built with logic, meaning they are not really built by traders, but are built by computer programmers. Only that the computer programmers, some of them, are being directed by um, traders. Okay, <clears throat> some of them are being directed by traders on what they should make the robots do, but. Usually, they are, they are made to perform a particular logic. And um, they are not all that efficient because after a few months, they stop working because they do not follow most time. They do not follow market structure and they cannot reach my price action the way a human would. So they just use a particular logic example. If you see, if it sees two red candles for you take a sale, if you see two, red, see two green candles for you take a buy, such kind of uh, logic. And it's most times it's, it runs on one time frame, okay? So we have the Elliott waves. This, this is kind of trading pattern too. We have price action. We have SMC. We have, I think even we have um, Wyckoff. Wyckoff kind of trading is, I don't, I don't want to put it on the SMC because the person that brought about Wyckoff 
is not is not ICT. It's not about Michael. It's not ICT. ICT is the father of SMC. Okay, and shout out to ICT. He's doing a great job, right? ICT is the father of SMC. So anything I'm going to be showing in this video because I'm going to be concentrating on SMC. Since I'm going to be showing in this video, sorry for the descent. I have I have some kind of cold. Anything I'm going to show you in SMC. Okay, is is all founded or invented or I don't know how you want to put it by ICT. Okay, so the the real accolade goes to him. Okay, without ICT, nobody will know how to use smart money concepts. So in smart money concepts, there are many branches. So there are many models, many kind of trading in SMC. But I'm going to show you guys certain uh, the general SMC. Okay, certain things that make SMC different from price action. So this is the introduction. Okay, and in this introduction, the first thing I'm going to show you guys is this. SMC is not better than other trading concepts. Never. Don't ever think about that. It's not better than price action. It's not better than Elliott Wave. It's not better than automated or fundamentals or indicators. It's not. Now, there is no best way to trade or um, there is no best, um, I'm not going to call it, best system out there or concepts. No, there is not. Every one of them has advantage and disadvantage. Just make sure you have more advantage than the disadvantage. That's the most important in your trading, right? So if it has more advantage, then it's, it's better. But I think there are still some stacked up disadvantages. Okay, many people running from private to, to come to SMC feeling that it's like it's the holy grail. It's not, obviously it's not. Price action is not also the holy grail. Every one of us lose. Psychology is the main bedrock of the trading game and not what kind of system you use. I know people that use funny systems like, okay, if if if, if it's London session, once three comes to breaks out of the range, Asian range, the upside, you start buying. And it's profitable for them. They are used to pass several um, funded challenges and they're doing pretty good. All right, so it's 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 trading for you. Your system doesn't have to be all accurate, all that accurate. But your winning rate can be 50%, but you're doing wonders in the market. Your winning rate could be 40, you're doing wonders. So it all depends on your psychology most of the time. Okay. So I'm talking about trading psychology. I'll do this in some other kind of video, but for now, this is a series of teaching about the general smart money. So what makes smart money different, as in the significant thing that makes smart money different from price action? Because I'm going to be comparing with price action a lot. Um, I, I was I was trying to learn Elliott Wave back in the days, but I didn't fully understand the concept. What I can remember about Elliott Wave is that um, they actually focus on situations like this, okay? Whereby price make higher high, make a high, make a higher high, and then refuse to make a higher low like this. Rather makes a lower low and then takes out previous highs, you feel me? So they use A, B, C, D to like, uh, um, label it and know where they enter from or the rest, but I know this is one of their uh, basic logic in Elder Swift, okay, where other people, so they are trying to enter from here, all right, this manipulation here, so that's what I can remember about it, I can't trade, I can't really trade, I, can't, I don't really know about, about it, I've explained about automated trading, I've done price action, SMC, I've done indicators too, there are many kinds of indicators, RSI, moving averages, Ichimoku, Bollinger Band, MACD, so many of them I can't even remember, right? That I used to like, like the RSI when they set it in this in a way whereby the highest point is 70, the lowest point is 30. They, they say if price goes below to the 30 region, it means price is oversold, so I'm looking for buy opportunities, all of those stuff. I left it too. Now, I left all these price, all these concepts and settled it. SMC. <laughs> Not because SMC was the best, but back then I thought it was because of my system or concept that caused my problems. Not then I had so many bad habits with risk management and psychology. So what happened? I end up trying almost everything and failing as all of them. On see, when I came to SMC, I wanted to leave too because it was becoming hard, and uh, um, the results were not showing at that time. So I said, so I wanted to leave. I know how many times I've lived. Um, not about leaving it to go to back to price action, but then I remember it's just the same cycle I'm trying to go back. When I get price action, I'll be discouraged again. I want to come back. Meaning everything is the same in this industry. There's no shortcuts. You just have to pay attention to what matters, which is psychology. So 
SMs, what differentiates SMC majorly from prior transactions is that they are the mostly used concepts recently. Especially SMC, SMC is on the rise. More people are coming to the SMC industry or the SMC courts. <laughs> so the main difference is that in prior transactions, let's say if this is an uptrend, I'm going to show you the difference between SMC, the core difference between SMC and prior transactions. Now, if this is a, a price action trader looking at this uptrend, sorry, and this is uh, an SMC trader looking at this uptrend, this is the approach all of the both of them are going to give, right? So, <clears throat> the price action trader will draw support and resistance line from far back. He's interested on where price has reacted to in the past. As you can see, price action, he's following how price has reacted to in the past, where price has touched and went up or came down or where price reacted to in the past it could be something like this you know sorry it could be something like this you know maybe something like this something like this so for that is considering this area because now the area must not be accurate it could be like this you know it could be like this you know or it's also like this but it's considering a region a zone where price reacted often to that high cost, does it. Now, when price comes back to this level, what does it do? He goes to the smaller time frame and look for how the candles are forming and how many rejections the candles are giving, and then allow price to break out out of a certain range. Okay, I'm talking about the general price action way. In the smaller time frame, price could be doing something like this, something like this, so what I'm saying, something like this. So we have to draw their trend lines, okay, on that smaller time frame. We can draw their trend lines and uh, it could be a wedge, it could be um, a triangle, it could be a channel, right? What they want to see is a breakout, okay? So I want to see a breakout and retest before they go long. So I want to just see a breakout and then they're ready to go long right there after the breakout. Now, the breakout is not an impulse break, but a breakout that closes, that, that in which a candle closes out of the range, they tend to enter. For those that trade breakouts, for those that trade retest, they want to see price come back to this level and give rejection candles right here with weeks, and then they enter at that level, right? So it's just, this is the basic um, idea around price action trading, right? They are actually fooling marking key levels on the higher time frames, they come to the time frames to look for breakout out of certain channels or out of certain levels also. Now, what about SMC? SMC focuses on market structure in a way that they look forward to finding uh, whereby, where highs equal, whereby previous highs or the recent highs have been taken out because we believe that every high is, is liquidity. Every high is liquidity. SMC dwells with the fact that retail traders, which is the price action traders, retail price action traders are often haunted because of their pattern of trading. Example, we dwell on the manipulations done by banks and hedge funds. Now imagine a trading system that have existed for decades before uh, some of you were born. And the banks and the hedge funds, they know about this. So, as long as the Forex game remains valid and it's for money making purposes, the money making purposes is not for you to make money, it's for you to lose why they make. If 6.6 .6 trillion US dollars circulate every day in the Forex market, we have the donors and we have those that collect. So the retail traders are often the donors and this is a trap for people to think Forex to get rich quick scheme and put in all their money and then lose it. And they probably make you lose, not because they or anything, they probably make you lose. Now, if they know people will be doing something like this, understanding the retail price action logic, which is um, double tops, is it? Uh, sorry, which is which is double tops, right? They know that when retail traders miss this, the next entry is on the breakout of neckline and retest to neckline. Most retail traders, Want to start looking for shots around here, but they know that this is what they want. 
they want to hit people's stop losses, clear them and make some money. You might be thinking, um, is it because uh is it because of um um because of your twenty dollar stop loss? No, there are millions of people, billions of people that have their stop loss. So my stop loss is in one thousand dollars, some twenty dollars, some five thousand, some five hundred thousand. You don't know, you don't know everybody is not trading a small account like you. So by the time they clear it, some people will be thrown out. So what do they do? They do this sometimes, right? And then do this. Did it sell? Yes, it did. Because price is supposed to sell because of all these shit, right? Did it sell? It did. But now it sold after taking out everybody trying to buy it after causing some certain rejections. And also SMC dwells on the fact that candlesticks rejections is a scam meaning if price is actually creating some rejections at a certain level it doesn't necessarily mean price wants to reverse from that level it could just change by the next two candles that form so smt traders do not wait for all those candle confirmations and the rest now we dwell on this so in this scenario what do smt traders do now provided that this is not an equal high like this if this is an equal high smc traders even anticipate this to go higher before they sell because um the, the banks believe that some retail traders might put their stops above here for example those that trade swing and enter here put their stops above these equal highs so they want to make sure everybody's cleared out so what do we do we watch out for equal highs the smart money concepts and some other things right making sure the highs are very equal and accurate and guess what anticipate this movement okay but if these highs are not equal what what would an smc trader do an smc trader will look to get into sell positions around here now this is a general smc trading logic right why because this is seen as the origin of the sell they believe for this sell to be this induced very strongly to the downside banks have their sell orders sitting back here so when when price returns back those sell orders get triggered and it forces not really banks do hedge funds it forces price back down because of their heavy orders so this is where most smc traders don't believe in candlestick confirmations they feel when candle gets to where it gets if it's going to reverse it to reverse if it's going to uh if it's going to reverse it's to reverse if it's going to uh keep going against them to go all those rejections do not matter a lot but though there are some exceptions that are make use of it because as you can see this is an individual stuff but when i'm saying the general smc concept is what actually the usmc trading um, started us right so when price taps in price tends to start falling back down now we look at this as a break of structure meaning this has shown us that price has flipped bearish that shows us that liquidity has been grabbed here for people that want to take this as a support to buy. So SMC logic is based on manipulations in markets. That's where the idea came from. Why price action trading is following price as it's making high highs, lower lows, touching significant levels in the market. That's what they care about, right? So it is what it is. So um, I'm going to be talking about a whole lot of things now. This is the introduction to make you distinguish between the price action and the SMC logic. But um, in the next uh, episode, I'm going to be talking fully about um, each and every single terminology in the smart money space, right? Peace out. See you guys in the next episode. Like, uh, make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel to follow up the series. Yeah, peace out, guys.